Story time with Jack. So back to what we were doing. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tell you some of Diego's deepest, darkest secrets. So the first one is I am a year younger than him, right? And I taught him how to tie his shoes, okay? And it was in like first grade. So he was in second grade, okay? And 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 he's st- I was wearing Velcros, boy. I was rocking those sketchers, but like I came up to him, he was like, Ugh, my shoes untied, can your mom do it? I was like, no. No. I'm gonna do it. So I did it. And and then from that point on, he could tie shoes. Well, that's a lie. I had to tie it for him. But I mean, still, but like he's not like acoustic or anything like that. But then also, I taught him his left from right. So yeah, he's kind of stupid in that section, but eh. other than that, he's a pretty he's a pretty smart guy. Plus, he can barely speak English, but that's for another story. <clears throat> JK, he's pretty good at speaking English. He's like, kind of like, um, um, what was that? Uh, no, whatever. He can speak English, okay? He's pretty, he's pretty, he's pretty cool dude. I've known him for like 20 years now. And, um, and yeah, but, um, let's, let's, let's talk about, talk about something else. Um, so, uh, no, another thing. Um, okay, I'll tell you this little story when I was in second grade. So I was in second grade and I was just, I was lining up. We were in the lunchroom. We were about to leave. Okay. We all stand up. Me and this other guy, let's just call him <laughs> Big Daddy Meat Party. And then, <clears throat> so uh, we, we looked over, right? Meet Big Daddy Meat Party. We saw this, saw this little guy, maybe first grade. I don't know. Sexy dude. No, okay, no, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just, no, I'm not that guy. Okay, but um, so, so yeah, we just looked over, right? He, he's his sister, friend, or whatever is right next to him, and uh, she asked him to hold her ice cream for some reason. I don't know. She turned around to talk to her mom because they that was that sort of thing, I guess. You bring your mom to, 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 to lunch day. I don't know what it was called, but so they did that, and the kid. Of course, like, absolutely made out with the ice cream. He was, like, <laughs> all over that thing until he dropped it. <laughs> but then, once he dropped it, he just kind of stared at it for maybe half a second. He looked back at his sister, he looked at the popsicle, looked at his sister, then I looked at Big Daddy Meat Party, and we were both, like, dying over there. And then and they picked it up. And if you, I you could not tell you what he, okay, I can. Okay, but you would not believe me if I told you what happened. And some reason he walked to that trash can and got it back to his sister. So guess what she did next? She absolutely demolished that thing. It was like <coughs> and then he was gone. It was never seen again. Maybe she died from like color I don't even call her or maybe gangrene or something. I don't know, but all I know is that somewhere that little kid is probably thinking about that. Given his sister call, I don't know what it was, but all that matters is that they're all losers. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. They're probably pretty chill dudes, except for the whole popsicle thing. But, but the moral of the story is if you make out with something and drop it on the floor, don't pick it back up and give it to the next guy. Come here. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, but still, I mean, like, yeah. So that's, that's just. Little story from 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 back in the old days. Uh, it's just me and you guys, but uh, by guys I mean like fifteen people max. Like nah, more like borderline max. But I mean, uh, it's still interesting to tell a story if somebody listens, and if they don't listen, and you're trying to trying to make people laugh, well then at least. Okay, I tried my best, and maybe I'm gonna lose all my friends, but at least I'm gonna go out with dignity. No, no, I'm gonna go out with at least something. 
I'm going to walk away from this and I'm going to have my head to the ground looking like an idiot. We're trying to walk away. Probably pants are falling down. Everyone sees my adult diapers hanging out of my pants. My shorts start falling. I bend to pick them up. They just fall down. My underwear fall down. And then I'm just sitting on the floor with a poopy butt. And then everyone's looking at me. And I'm sitting there dying. Okay, no, this, I got off track. I got off track. But that's about it. You know, just, just, just don't do that sort of thing. <clears throat> <laughs> that's that story um let me just do this it's story time yeah, story time mm -hmm. i think that should be a new segment but i mean what other stories if uh you know i i there is another story there is there's one more story okay and that story is okay uh what well, let me think still thinking okay yeah <laughs> well, let me just well, let me ponder on this for a second so I was at um my friend my boy Diego yours truly the the, the Diablo guy the host the the uh, the queen editor of this channel Dubitus Gaming uh, and um well I was just at his house right well no this was I, mean, I was at this other guy's house with Diego and this other guy let's just call um this other guy. Dark chocolate. Okay, so uh, let's just, let's just call him that. But um, so we were all at Dark Chocolate's house, right? And we were just, I mean, Diego was out there riding his bike out in the street, and this other, and there's this other guy, but he's not even a really part of the story at all. But um, I was walking with Dark Chocolate, right? We were next to his fence, and there was a ladder up against this fence. So. The, the, the gate was open, so we went to close it, right? So we closed it pretty hard, and then the ladder wasn't really secured on the fence, so... It fell over, and guess what? It fell on his cankle, and his cankle was just gone. He was on the ground in a matter of, like, half second. Okay, he was just dying on the ground. I have a video of it. It is sitting there screaming, his, his guts out, just crying everywhere. And... Of course, me being the the, the 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 cool diabeto that I am, I just recorded it. He's crying, like ah, ah, Jack, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there, just um, just 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 watching him cry, and then and then he's, he's and then and then I just yell, "Man down! We, we got a man down!" And then I go tell tell Diego a ladder fell on his cankle, and then. And then all of a sudden he's better. He lies a lot, but all of a sudden he's better. And he gets on his bike. And then we go to Diego's house. And we jump on his trampoline. And Brandon's there. No, oh, shoot, I just said it. Dark chocolate. Okay. Uh. And dark chocolate's there. And I'm there with, with Diego. And we're just we're just jumping up and down on the trampoline. And, and we had a soccer ball on the trampoline. So can you guess what I did with that soccer ball? I pelted that at his Okay, and after I did oh, after I did that a couple times, he's yelling for me to stop, stop, and I'm just no, I'm not gonna stop. So, oh, Diego's back. Diego, I've been telling stories. What? I've been telling stories while I'll you were be gone. Back again. Okay, okay. So, resuming. So I kicked it at him. He's like, stop, stop, and then of course I didn't stop because I'm a year older. I'm like, bruh bow down so i kept doing it he's just screaming stop stop 